I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent remarks and sharing some interesting questions. Here is a question from one of our subscribers. A quantity P varies partially as the square of M and partly as N. When P is 3.8, M equals to 2 and N equals to minus 3. When P is minus 0 0.2, M equals to 3 and N equals to 2. Find the equation that connects P, M and N. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now when we say it is partially varying, that means uh, it could be written as P is proportional to, right? But we could write equal to with a constant. Let's say A is a constant, right? A. So P partially varies as a square of M. That means A times M square and partly as n, so times n, right? Now, since it is a partial variation, we'll write the equation as plus b, right? It's not a direct variation, do you understand? Since it is not a direct variation. Now, this is important to understand. In direct variation, the graph will go through the origin kind of, right? Now, partially means that if uh, we have 0, 0, then P is not 0. That is the idea, right? Okay. Now, with that in mind, we are given two set of values. These two set of values will help us to find A and B, the two unknowns, right? So, from the first set of value, which is 3.8, we get 3.8 equals to A m is 2, right, 2 square, n is minus 3, plus b, we get one equation, which is, we can write this as 3.8 equals to 4 times 3, 12, which is with negative sign, plus b. Now, the other equation we get using the second set of points, so p is minus 0 0.2, so we have now minus 0 0.2 equals to a times m is 3 this time, so 3 square, n is 2 plus b, right? So that gives us 0 0.2 equals to 9 times 2 is 18a plus b. So we have two equations here, right? We can find a and b using these two equations. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of b first by taking away one from the other. So we can do equation one, take away equation two. So when you do that, so equation one, 3.8, take away minus 0.2, it gets added basically. So you get 4.0 equals two. Now here we get minus 12a, and we get minus 18a. B and B cancel, right? So we can actually solve for A and then substituting A, we can find the value of B. That's the whole idea, right? So this gives you 4.0 equals to minus 12 and 8 is 20 and 10, 30 A. So from here, we get A equals to minus 4 over 30, right? Or you can write minus 2 over 50. So that is the value of A. Now we can substitute this value of A to find the value of B in any one of our equations, right? So let's use the second equation. Let me call this as our equation number 3. So we'll now sub 3 in 2 to find the value of A. So equation 2 is minus 0 0.2 equals to 18 times the value of A, which is negative 2 over 15, plus B, right? We'll take it on the right side. So uh, let's write this also in fractions. We, we could write this as 2 over 10, right? That is, okay, 
taking this becomes plus uh, we can simplify this so let me write this as first 8 times 2 is 36 over 15 for time being we'll simplify this equals to p is that clear to you no this could be divided by 3 right and this could be divided by 2 so we get minus 1 over 5 and here when you divide by 3 you also get 5 denominator so that gives you dividing by 3 gives us 12 over 5 equals to b right so we get uh, 12 minus 1 so which is 11 over 5 as the value of b okay so we have both the values now and we can write down the relation right so the relation is p equals to a is uh, minus 2 over 15 m square n and b is 11 over 5 is that clear so that is how we can relate them so i hope that makes sense Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.